dear students in previous class we have discussed about discussed about the introduction of the mesopotamian civilization you very well know the mesopotamian civilization developed between the euphrates and tigris rivers developed the between of the euphrates and tigris rivers and they they improved the day by day this civilization but egyptian civilization have the natural protection but, but mesopotamian civilization not have any natural protection so that reason mesopotamian civilization so mesopotamian civilization so again and again invaders attackers attack on the mesopotamian civilization so that reason mesopotamian civilization fell and rise the many empires and in the civilization so five races are arise for example sumerians akkadians old babylonians assyrians and new babylonians these are the five races arise in the mesopotamian civilization these all points we will we are these all points we have discussed in the last class today we will discuss about the most features the most important silent features of the mesopotamian civilization so this question arise in your examination for the 10 marks write the write the most important silent features of the mesopotamian civilization that time you write many points so today in the class we will explain the we will explain the features of the mesopotamian civilization here first one political life political life is the first features of mesopotamian civilization so you know mesopotamian civilization developed in the ncn period early mesopotamians established the city states city states developed into the city state developed into the states and later into empire so here the empire or the king head of the administration and religion also head of the administration and religion also the king the king head of the administration and religion also and the king head of the the king was head the state and owner of the property of the state so here the in the mesopotamian civilization the king was representative of the god on the earth so but many times the authority of king the authority of king fell down the other hands of military officers so military officers and totally who was strong and in the king who was strong and strong or powerful king have the unlimited power in the mesopotamian civilization because you know already so mesopotamian civilization not have any natural protection that reason many attackers or invaders attack on the mesopotamian civilization that reason the mesopotamian civilization or king authority fell down the military officers has the same thing as the same thing the king head of the head of the state and owner of the property of the state here the king representative of the god on the earth so here who was so sometimes or many times so a king authority fell down the military officers and the king or powerful king have the powerful kings were have unlimited power in the egyptian civilization here prestis have the great role in the administration prestis have the great role in the administration of mesopotamia civilization and appointed the king appointed the governors for look at the local administration local administration these all consider the political life okay in the political life her great person king that was hammurabi so hammurabi was the greatest king in the mesopotamia civilization or he the greatest king of the old babylonians you know already you studied about the race of five race of the mesopotamian civilization in old babylonians hammurabi came in the race of old babylonians the hammurabi was the greatest king of the old babylonians or the greatest king of the mesopotamian civilization okay
so mes hammurabi was the greatest king of the mesopotamian civilization he conquered sumer so when he came to the power that time hammurabi conquered sumer and ruled between ruled between 21 to 23 to 22 81 bce hammurabi was ruled between 2100 to 23 to 2123 to 2081 bce so here hammurabi was the greatest king of the mesopotamian civilization he conquered entire the mesopotamia hammurabi was conquered the entire mesopotamia and he divided the his state into the district into the district that time hammurabi so hammurabi united the akkadian and sumer akkadian and sumer and his the create or is the built whose empire and that time hammurabi divided his state into the many districts many districts so hammurabi was ruled great ways and he ruled themselves so hammurabi was observed the administration of observed the administration themselves so here hammurabi is a great immortal in the history totally hammurabi was the greatest king of the mesopotamian civilization so he conquered the sumer and ruled between the 2123 to 2081 bce that time hammurabi was hammurabi was conquered entire mesopotamia and united akkadian and sumer and create or built the whose empire and he he divided his state into the district and appointment of the local officers or governors so for look for the local administrations local administrations and local and central administration carried by the his order or king order so totally hammurabi was a great person in the mesopotamian civilization and next code of the hammurabi so in history hammurabi was immortal hammurabi was immortal by his the code by his the code he is lord that time hammurabi collect the present laws that time when he ruled or when he came the power that time hammurabi was collect the present laws and classified them and improved them and finally hanu hammurabi also added the new laws totally in the code or code of the hammurabi totally 282 282 laws are there 282 laws are there these laws related to the personal property slaves slaves labors and trade and commerce and marriage divorce and right of the men and women so totally the code of totally the code of hammurabi so is based principle tit for tat tit for tat i for an and i for and i i for an i o tooth for tooth a tooth for tooth so this principle have the code of hammurabi hammurabi code or this code basic principle teeth for tat and eye for an eye and a tooth for tooth so this laws or code of the hammurabi applied the universal of the his kingdom so any facility is not there in the code of the hammurabi hammurabi code or laws applied the universally in the in his kingdom and next the here so any persons not get the revenge against the any person in the hammu in the mesopotamian civilization so get the any revenge against to the any person but state give the revenge about the who made the mistake that against that person so here the hammurabi code 
here hammurabi code basic principles and aimed and basic aimed gives the justice to the society so common and equal equality or complete justice gives to the society or people of the mesopotamian civilization so this is the basic principle of code of the hammurabi code of the hammurabi so here the first is and the first is and scribes lead the higher status lead the higher status and hammurabi is hammurabi is ruled is own and they self and improved the improved the mesopotamian civilization that reason the hammurabi was a greatest greatest king of the mesopotamian civilization and in the hammurabi code in the hammurabi code any personality is not there any personality is not there here here the women also have the women also have the freedom and get the right of the property and get the heredity of the equal share get the heredity of the property so totally hammurabi code is hammurabi code have the 222 laws and this laws related to the personal property and the trade trade and commerce and labors and slaves marriage divorce and right of the man and women these laws apply to the equally apply to the equal in his kingdom so and universally applied these laws and any personality is not there in the laws in the mesopotamian civilization so by this reason the hammurabi was the greatest or immortal in the history so you know the write the short note about the code of the hammurabi maybe this question arrived for the five marks in your examination so you remember now who was hammurabi and when he came to the power and how to his how was his ruled and these all points you write in your examination and then you explain the code of the hammurabi so how many codes or how many laws are in the how many laws are in the code of the hammurabi in hammurabi code is hammurabi code is beautiful diagram on the black stone so in a top of the image in the top of the stone a image was there in the image the king hammurabi receiving this received the laws by shamas by samas samas means son of god son of god here the code of hammurabi the code of hammurabi diagrammed the beautiful diagrammed on the black stone the top of the black stone or top of the black stone a uh, image is there in the image the king hammurabi receiving the laws receiving the laws god shamas shamas means son of god you remembered in the egyptian civilization son of the called called ra ra means son of the god in egypt in mesopotamian civilization so son of the god called his shamas shamas means son of the god so already you studied about egyptian civilization i now study study you mesopotamian civilization and totally hammurabi receiving the laws receiving hammurabi was receiving the laws by the shamas shamas means son of the god these laws applied the these laws applied applied the all people so applied the all people so totally hammurabi so hammurabi laws 282 and his 282 laws applied the all people and hammurabi ruled is very good and he uh, that time when he hammurabi ruled that time he improved the mesopotamian civilization and then social condition understood hammurabi and code of the hammur hammurabi so you remember and the year or age and you remember about the number of the laws in the code of the hammurabi okay and then we move to the study about social condition social condition mesopotamian civilization society so into divided into the four classes or four groups 
first group the royals and second group the trustees and scribes and third group rich lords and merchants and finally slaves so these all group of the mesopotamian civilization and group of the society of the mesopotamian civilization here first one the royals the royals means king and his family king and his family so called the the royals the royals or king and his family have the great status the great great status is the greater status in the society and administration also in the mesopotamian civilization king have the king head of the administration and religion so and king and his family do have the basic facility and lead the luxury and comfort life so and king and his family lead the high status in the society and administration also and next one the trustees and scribes the trustees and scribes also and the the trustees and scribes also were have the high post in the administration and high status in the mesopotamian society so he they they also have the basic facility and lead the comfort life and then rich and la rich, rich landlords and merchants here the many many persons came in the third group for example shopkeepers and merchants and fresh uh, shopkeepers and merchants and rich lords so these all extra these all came to the rich uh, came to the third group and finally slaves slaves came in the finally last group so they lived they lived with the hard life they lived with the hard life and slaves lead the hard life in the mesopotamian civilization but the slaves in the mesopotamian civilization slaves were have the good opportunity the all slaves so followed the rules and regulations rules and regulations of the king so then time he got the freedom from the slaves and he go got the he got the right for the earn of the personal property also so it is the great opportunity for the slaves because slaves came in the last group in the egyptian civilization he led he we lived with hard life and he lead the he lead the hard life so but slave in the mesopotamian civilization slaves were have the good opportunity so whose slaves uh, followed and uh, followed the rules and regulations of the mesopotamian civilization so that time the slaves get the freedom from the slaves freedom from the slaves so in the, the great opportunity how slaves who are slaves who the get the freedom from the slaves that time the slaves earn the own property also and totally finally in the society egyptian so, sorry in the mesopotamian society women also have the freedom women also have the freedom and women get the earn property property get the freedom of earn property and the women so share equal share the women so have the equal share in the heredity of the property totally the women also have the basic facilities and in the mesopotamian civilization and the women have the good status in the mesopotamian society so these all points came in the social condition of mesopotamian civilization so i hope you clear these all concept so in this class we have we will we have discussed the silent features of the mesopotamian civilization the first one point of political life in political life the king is the king is leader or king is lead the good administration and king was head of the administration and religion and they ruled the good and improved the mesopotamian civilizations okay and then hammurabi hammurabi conquered sumer and came and ruled the between 21 2300 to 20000 2000 to 81 so 
so i explained about the hammurabi and code hammurabi also you remembered the all points about the hammurabi and code of the hammurabi and what are the groups of came in the social condition of the mesopotamian civilization you just remember social condition the mesopotamian society or mesopotamian civilization society divided into the four groups and the royals the priests and scribes and rich and lorders and rich law rich, rich land lorders and merchants and slaves okay these all points came in the social condition so i hope you are understood the all points in this class in next class we will discuss about the we will discuss about religion and economics condition of the mesopotamian civilization okay thank you